Guys, welcome back to the channel. So, continuing our new product testing from, uh, from TaylorMade here. Mm -hmm. We'll just run through all the irons. I think it's fair to say, Matty, we're, we're really impressed with what's coming out. Absolutely, that's the best lineup of irons I've seen from TaylorMade, as far as I can remember. Easy, yeah, easy, not even close. Yeah, yeah I think there's a little sprinkle in there for everyone. Um, a couple that could be more than just you know, a nice contender within its category, quite possibly the leader in its category. I think it's fair to say 790 already does that. Yeah. 770, I'd be really shocked if it didn't fall in and be the leader in its category. I think we'll be talking about 770 all year. We will be, yeah. there, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. So moving away from the iron, well, semi an extension of them, mm -hmm. uh, into the brand new Sim UDI. P790 UDI was one of your favorites. You in, play in, one? In the bag. Yep. In the bag right now. For me, it's a, it's a, it's a go-to for the course I play. Lots of them required just to kind of get it out there, sort of 230 to 240-ish. Uh, I love hitting it off the tee. Now, this one is, is sort of the next evolution of it. Obviously, taking something from the gapper I was from a few say. years ago. I think the gapper had good parts about it. Yeah, Didn't I see it on tour much. No. Um, to me, it sort of seems like they took good stuff from gapper, obviously good stuff from uh, P790 UDI, yeah. kind of made themselves two kind of blended models that will be their driving iron models going forward. That's exactly what they've done. This would be sort of gapper low, yeah. um, no adjustable sleeve anymore, nope. no FCT. Bonded. Bonded, but they have went with a forged body. Mm. So you can you can bend it, it's, it's two degrees adjustable, sort of loft lie, um, so you can manipulate it. So for me, I love to play my driving iron a little bit flat, yeah. so I can kind of hit that little bleeder cut. I think that um, serves the purpose that the sleeve is probably not necessary when you can bend it correct. with your local club fitter. Right? Absolutely, yeah. that's it. Just that, that, that's the requirement of it, isn't it? Just to be able to adjust that loft. So yep. um, 2018 and 18, delighted to announce the news for the lefties out there. Tell you what, TaylorMade is on basically titleist level now with left-handed yeah. options. And, and Ping have always been and the Ping, number one. Sorry, yeah. fair enough. Um, I'm, good, I'm glad to see a company great, do that. All it? the irons, uh, all these are available and left-handed, yeah. so it's fun. It is, it is, and it's great that we can do some testing together, which we are gonna do today. I know. We're, we're gonna get you to get the baseline numbers, and then we're gonna choose a hole, and we're gonna try to test the versatility of the UDI. Yeah. I think it is an off the tee club for many people. Yes. It's a, a, a second shot club for a lot of people also. So we want to really look at the versatility, Matty, and see Definitely. if it's something we can get distance out of, but also, you know, get a little bit of control if we need to flight it up as well. And that, what would make it the perfect club? Can you knuckle one off the tee, Correct. through the wind, run it down the fairway? Yeah. And then can you kind of spin one up and, and land it on a green on a par five or something like that? I do. That's what you want. Absolutely ideal. Okay, okay so let, let's get some numbers here. You've got the the, uh, the three, which is the 20 degree. 20 degrees, we've got a DM on a thump. It's DM a 90. A thump. Yeah. It's a good kind of hybrid shaft you found it. Very good hybrid shaft. Uh, you know, a little bit on the softer side, probably for, for what you are looking for, but 90 grams, so the, the weight, weight is, is kind of kept high enough. Made a few swings, the weight feels quite nice. Yeah. Um, let's see what it does. Okay. So a couple of neutral ones just to start with, sure. and then we'll maybe play around with it a little bit in flight. Sounds good. It's no good. <laughs> Get rid of it. I love that flight. Oh. 268. Straight out of the gate, flat as well. It's been Have 10 lines, yeah, 3,000. That's, that's pretty cool. Sounded potentially even better. I hit that, that better, yep. Wow, that is seriously hot. UDI, good. Flight, good. Numbers, good. 20, <laughs> 20 degrees in a driving iron versus 20 degrees in a hybrid. I'm gonna say, if I recall from the fit you gave me recently, probably two degrees of launch, thousand RPMs of spin. Mm -hmm. Something like that? Easily, yeah, easily. Similar yardage, but obviously getting there in a very different way. Different fashion, more on the ground, you're gonna get more, more out of this once the ball hits the ground, and you're not even using the strong one. No, there's you a know, two iron also, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you, you know, there's a 280 club in there for you if you, if you wanted something for, uh, for, for the windy days. Right away, the, the guy who spins a hybrid too much is opening their eyes going, ooh, nice. Yeah. 
Shave and, a thousand and I think RPMs. Delivery wise, this is probably quite suited to you as well. I mean, three three is yeah. is a good delivery for for a club like this. True. So if really you're good. really steep, iron style is better than a hybrid. Yes. So if you're say you were five down, you yeah. probably can't hit a hybrid at that point. I mean, you're going to have to really sort of have the handle forward, manipulating right. your spin loft, and ensuring that you're not delivering too much loft that the thing will just climb the hole, gotcha. especially gotcha. if you're quick as well. Uh, I'm so far, I like this a lot. It sounds good, eh? Good, really good. I'm not hearing like a, it's not too techy. No. It's kind of solid. No, no tinny noises, none no. of that. I think the speed foam does such a good job of that. It does. Dampening the, uh, the sounds of, of what is probably a very thin walled, true. fast frame. Yeah, very true. Bit thin. Okay, missed it a little bit in the heel, so. I mean, we've just came off the back of filming with the three iron of the uh, the the new MB yeah, P7 yeah, MB. Yeah. You've hit that in the heel, and look at look at the difference in what you got out there. I, I know. I saw I, the light caught the head, and I saw it twist. 100 percent. Yeah. Right, it right has there. it has penalised you about two and a half miles an hour. Yep. Spinners went nowhere. Launches came down in the distance barely. Now, on a golf course six yards off the tee especially no one cares and that's that's really impressive matty it's nice it just doesn't want to it doesn't want to climb it wants to stay very flat that's probably a little more spin perhaps i think that's a fair no, it's just the same <laughs> not 10 10 3 it just does not uh -huh. does not want to climb so consistency is usually a good sign. This is obviously the player's one, the UDI, the DHY is the bigger one. Yeah. But if you're, you know, somebody looking for a driving iron, you want to see it hit your window. For me, obviously that window is 10 and a half, yeah. 3000 spin. It just sort of does it over and over again, doesn't it? It really is. I mean, look how consistent those, those well hit ones were. Yep. Eight to eight feet, 92, eight to eight. Guys, I can't, I can't emphasize enough how important height is mm. on maintaining your launch spin and speed it's too hard for you to shoot for a speed or a spin or a launch every single time mm. if you actually shoot for just achieving the peak height you will fall into those windows naturally within a tolerance of them right so Good that's point. a note for the fitters and for for people who are going out there and testing if you manage the the peak height how it gets there will normally kind of standardize itself and you'll end up with a pretty good outcome that's awesome yeah Love that, love that. Okay, we're ready to take it to the course. All right, out on the course now. Okay, my man, so here we are. I hope we try to pick a hole where you could utilize, you could feasibly hit two driving irons. Well, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. You, you could, could feasibly hit two driving irons in here. Strategically. Yeah, um, I think, I think if I remember, what did no, Brooks, Brooks in the US Open last hole last year hit three wood. And he hasn't that Nike. Yeah, he hit the that cr Nike, that crazy um, good driving iron. He's got, yeah, and he actually hit it over the back of the green. He hit it too good. So, uh, you know, we we've kind of got it in normal conditions. They were playing it into the wind that day. So, let's uh, let's see if we can get you on this green in two. I'll have a little stab at it as well. So this is basically right now. Let's see the potential <clears throat> of it to be a tee club accurate, yes. but you want it to go. Absolutely. That's a good one. It's going to fly right into the tree. It will not be hit nope, any better that, than that. You're good. That's my par. Oi! Oh, look at a bounce. Jeez, that one was hot. Okay, 271. I think I. Oh, yeah, see? So a, li a little bit back in my stance, I knocked some launch and a little bit of spin. Okay, so you've hit lovely drive uh, up until this point, about 270 off the tee there, roasted one. Right. So looking at the second shot in here, we're, we're going to make up the scenario that. It's not, you could quite get four iron there, Matty. Fair. You, you're going to have to flight it two, three, three. Yep. And, and try and get something landed on the screen. You know what I don't care for? The ocean on the left. Perfect draw off the tee for uh -huh. you. Perfect fade into the green for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we Pebble Beach. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't be better suited to a right-handed golfer. When you think about it, though, hit a draw off the tee with whatever, yeah. and then yeah. you just kind of feather one in there. That'd be <gasps> lovely. Eagle bunker shot? I tell you what, it's, it's the right shot. It's just, pretty good. Just too far you left. You take it. Okay, so you've got to hit your two iron from the, the bunker. <laughs> Finish the hole with the iron. Oh. 
Where did that go? It's on the green. It, Is it, it? Yeah, it hit the side of the bunker. Short putt, no? Sim UDI for putting. 10 feet, right? This would be the greatest part of your life. Oh! <laughs> Tell you what, you've got a sneaky one back up the hill. <laughs> I, I guess you'll see that, won't you? <laughs> oh, I'll see that. And, uh, <laughs> I'll see that, son. Seven footer. It's not bad to putt with. Have I died? Ooh, I like. Turn. Oh yeah, plenty of turn. Go. And run. Oh yeah. As prescribed. That's lovely. That's good. You so you got the launch up a little bit. So Quite that a bit more, 12, kind of the, the difference in our launch angles or our deliveries right there is I get shallower, which launches it higher, but obviously close the face enough to keep the spin down. Yeah, yeah. That's a okay. per perfect tee ball. So now you are a measly 237. Oh. Oh. oh, it's the right shape. Those bunkers are looming large in this hole. Yeah, it's hard to make that go shorter because you don't, what do you have? 18 degrees aloft. Yeah, he hit a good shot. Yeah, it didn't didn't hate it. Neutralized it, spun it up a little bit more. So you just got to you just got to bunt it out the bunker. You hammer it into this lip right here. That's what I did. <laughs> you dirty dog! Are you kidding me? Oh! oh <laughs> I did the one foot three. Oh, Matty boy. What do you say? Well, la di da. What Look do you say? Makes a half birdie. Well, well done. I don't take too much pleasure in, uh, in a bunt that comes up off the <laughs> lip. And... Whatever, it's the shot you tried to play. Yeah. Impressions? What do you think? It's just, it's very hot. Is it's... it ever? Yeah. It's really, really hot. It, it, it's capable of both. That you know, neither of us had any trouble with a, a tee shot or a second shot. No. Um, that would be probably people's concern as well. You know, I like it in this situation, but but what about this situation where you've you've got both? There's no reason why you can't hit either shot. No, no issue at all. Very workable. No issue at all. Offset. I found it to be not too bad. It, it is a nice little. Uh, it's a nice little play in the eyes because I'm. Uh, for someone who uses a P790, I mean, it's it's definitely more meat down there, but I'm not put off by it at all. I'm really not. I'm not feeling like it's ah, it's too chunky. I would yeah. play this. I, I would play this. I would play that. No problem. I'd be would keen it, to to try them both. Well, for sure. Do you think because it's got a little bit more meat to it, should it be a bit more forgiving than P790? Yeah, I think it probably should be. Should right? be. Yeah, I actually felt like I missed a couple with it when we were warming up and. Um, Get it out there still, right? Yeah, and it was still still pretty forgiven. Really good. Still pretty forgiven. Well, these we have to give back because it's day one, but yep. I think we'll probably be able to get a couple to bring to the course with us. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. you can use it. Honestly, having played your home club, yeah. I feel like I would use it about seven times. You, you could definitely just position yourself in the perfect spots around there with, with these. Um, it's funny, I've had a lot of people coming in recently who are looking to do driving iron, utility iron fits. Yep. And, and knowing that this is coming, I've been kind of, I have been asking them, just hold off, hold yeah, off. Yeah. And I'm really glad I have now because it's lived up to my expectation. And, and I think people's, uh, you know, opinion of, of, of these will be very right high once they test it. Agree. Yep. Um, oh, nice. DHY, the bigger one, we'll have to test that another time, but that's obviously the more forgiving version. You'd yep. expect the characteristics to be similar, but probably just a bit more launch and spin. Yeah, I mean, you can't help but think, you know, Titleist U500 and U510. Similar, right? When you, when you see this and, you know, similar sort of characteristics. This is this is more of the iron, the DHY is, is more of, of this sort of game improvement version. True. It's very similar. Okay, awesome. Well, Good. more to come with that, maybe a little bit outdoors, maybe try it in the wind, a little stinger yeah, contest at some be, point. Yeah, a little stinger. Something like that, if you guys want to see that, I'm sure 100%. you would. All right, well, thanks for watching that. We'll see you guys next time.